Welcome to Beth's Happy Home. You know, it's not uncommon to pay $5 for half a pound of finished hummus in the grocery store. And hummus is one of the easiest and least expensive things that you can make at home. So I'm going to show you just how quick and how easy it is. So we're going to start with one pound of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Um, they're the same thing by either name. So that's one pound of beans, and then this is two quarts of water in the hot pot. Now, of course, if you're starting with canned beans, you're going to pay about quadruple the cost of doing them from dry beans, but you can do them that way. And um, this is going to yield quite a big batch. So I'm putting in about a teaspoon of salt with two quarts of water, one pound of beans, which is the same as two and a half cups of beans. And then I'm going to cook them on the bean setting, which is 40 minutes on high in the pressure cooker and I'll bring you back to put the hummus together as soon as they're done. Welcome back. These dry beans ended up taking 50 minutes to be completely tender. Sometimes if chickpeas are particularly dry, you'll find that they do take a little bit longer to cook. And so added with the time, about 10 minutes that it took to get up to pressure, where it started processing, cooking the, the chickpeas took about an hour altogether um, in the hot pot on high. So now I don't want to throw away the liquid that is in the beans and so I'm scooping them out and putting them in a blender. Now this is going to make a really big batch, um, but the thing that's really fun about doing it this way is that I'm using alternatives to tahini. Now tahini is sesame seed paste, roasted sesame seed paste, um, and it's very expensive. But I have found that you can use other nut butters and even peanut butter and have a really good result. And so because of the cost factor, we're going to use peanut butter today. And you'd be amazed at how it adds the right nuttiness. And tahini is similar in flavor to peanut butter, except tahini is milder. But we're going to use it carefully because we don't want it to overwhelm the flavor. We want it to add that nuttiness um, and the, the creaminess, but we don't want it to dominate the flavor of the, uh, of the dish. So yeah, let's add two tablespoons, two generous tablespoons of peanut butter. And then if it's not quite strong enough, we can add a little bit more. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the basic hummus first and then I'm going to add in some, some special flavorings. Um, we're going to do a ranch, we're going to do a cheese, and we're going to do a lemon pepper. Um, so, um, we've got the 48 ounces of beans in there, which is a lot. It's going to make a huge batch. Well, it's going to make three separate batches. I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. As you can see, you can use fresh, of course, if you have it if you have fresh lemons, but I'm just using bottled lemon juice. Ordinarily, you would use a lot more tahini in this with this many garbanzo beans or chickpeas um, than, you are use, than I'm using peanut butter. And so we're going to add some extra oil to this. Um, this olive oil is in a very fancy bottle, but it's actually Costco olive oil that I bought by the three liter jug and put into this bottle because I thought the bottle was cute. So it's not as fancy as it looks. So I put in three tablespoons of olive oil and now I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of cumin. Now cumin is probably the strongest flavored spice that there is and so you have to be very judicious with it. But it's kind of the traditional flavor of hummus. And then I'm going to add a whole teaspoon of garlic powder because hummus is usually pretty garlicky and it's very much a Middle Eastern dish. So that's the basic recipe. We're going to have to add some liquid that we um, reserved from the cooking liquid um, as we blend it, but we're gonna start just by blending it up and then we'll add the water as we go. All 
All right, this looks like it's pretty well blended. I'm gonna just take a little spoon and see if there's uh, what the texture is like a little bit lower down. It's quite thick and as it cools off, it will get thicker. So it's still a little bit chunky um, from the beans. And it has a good flavor, but I think it can use a little bit more peanut butter. So that's about another teaspoon of peanut butter. And it's very thick. So this is, um, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of the cooking liquid. So this is still, we're still just making the basic um, hummus recipe. Still not flavorful enough. So I think I will add a little bit of extra cumin, whoops, not that much. Another half a teaspoon. We're really going out on a limb. And even a little bit more garlic. This is about another half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I need to be careful. I'm not going to add extra salt even though it does need salt, but because the cheese powder has salt in it and the ranch dressing powder has salt in it, um, I don't want to jeopardize the, um, make it too salty accidentally by adding it in advance of um, making those specialty ones. And I'm also going to add about two more tablespoons of the olive oil just so that everything is blended in. That was about two more tablespoons. So we're up to about a third of a cup of the cooking liquid. So I want this to be fairly flavorful before I ever get to adding the other, um, adding the specialty flavors so that it's ready to serve as it is with just a little salt added. So that's getting good. It does need salt, but it has a nice flavor. And so that'll be our basic, the basic hummus. Now to flavor it up with some other flavorings, First, I'm going to dish out some of the plain hummus into the just into a bowl to be seasoned separately and salt that separately. And then this one will be the ranch, and this one will be the cheese. Now I have served these to big crowds many times. And they are always very popular. Even with a great big batch like this is making, as you can see, there's still another quarter of it in there. Um, we use it up. This is about 10 ounces of the hummus in this one. I'm gonna put, that's about four teaspoons, five, six, seven. So that's about, well, we'll do one more teaspoon so that's three tablespoons of the cheese powder. This is just the cheese powder mix that I bought at Winco in their bulk section. And um, you can buy the cheese powder online if you um, can't find it in a bulk section somewhere near you. I'm just gonna stir this in and it will turn it a little bit more of a, of a, a deeper gold color. And then I'm going to add a little bit more liquid just to loosen it up because the cheese powder will thicken it. And the same is true of the ranch dressing. So um, they're going to have a thickening effect and you want to loosen them up a little bit more than what you would want to serve it. But you can see what that's the consistency right now and it will be thick enough to stay on the fork. Um, by the time it has sat for a little while and cooled off. It's still quite warm. Okay, now we'll have a taste. And that is fantastic. That is begging for a cracker. I gotta get one. 
Um, we're going to go with the ranch dressing mix. You could use a little packet if you wanted to, but um, we'll go with three tablespoons for this also. And we'll add that extra fourth of a cup of water. It's actually the cooking liquid. So remember, I had salted that before I cooked it. And so it's going to be um, adding a little bit of saltiness on its own, too. And that one is also really good. It's really tasty. It's a little bit strong, though. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this basic hummus to it. Um, just to cut it a little bit so it's not quite as strong. Now you can see this is cooling and, and it's getting really thick in the blender. So that's why it needs to be thinned down. And even these that I did thin down some may need to be thinned down even farther. But your imagination is the only thing that limits the possibilities with all different kinds of, of hummus flavors. Give it a try. You're going to li like it. And you're going to save a ton of money if you're used to, to enjoying hummus often that you buy at the grocery store. So, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.